Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go through how you can set up a dashboard for monitoring FlowFuse devices. I'll cover three main steps. First, I'll show you how to set up a FlowFuse device agent. For those of you that don't know, the device agent is a small program that runs Node-RED on a remote device. That device could be a Raspberry Pi, a small computer, Docker, or anything else capable of running Node.js. Next, I'll show you how to add flows that publish device status. These flows could be anything, but in this demo, it will be CPU and memory state of the device. Lastly, I'll update the dashboard to show the new device status. I hope it gives you a good overview of the capabilities FlowFuse brings to managing remote devices and making useful dashboards. Let's go. On the left, we have FlowFuse. On the right, we have a device that is already running and talking to FlowFuse. We're going to add a second device. This is how it's done. We click Add Device, give it a name. Click Add. And we copy the configuration of that device. Next, we need to install the device agent and launch it with the UI options so that it can be configured from its built-in web server. Once the agent is running, it gives us a link to its web configuration page. Simply log in using the credentials we provided on the command line. Paste the configuration we copied from FlowFuse into the Agent Configuration text box. Click Apply and we're done. Now we have our device added and running and communicating to the FlowFuse platform. We can go ahead and assign this device. We are going to assign it to an instance as we want the flows to be deployed from the bound instance direct to this device. We select the application and we select the instance. And when I click add, you will see the device on the right hand side be updated automatically from the FlowFuse environment. Here in our instance, we can see its devices, device one and device two, which is on the right hand side, are both running and have the same snapshot deployed. Let's take a look at what flows were deployed to the device. Here we are viewing the instance that runs in the cloud, not the device. To view the device, we would need to one, open the device, two, go into developer mode, and three, enable access to the editor. By default, the editor of a device is not available, but when you enable it, you can access the device flows. This is done by a proxy, a tunnel, which means you can access your flows on your device from anywhere in the world. Now this looks a little bit different. That is because it has not been yet updated to the latest snapshot. And I will demonstrate that next. First, we go to the instance, we go to snapshots, and we create a new snapshot. This is version six, and I will set this as the target. And if you watch on the right hand side, you will see the devices both update. This one, device one, is busy installing. Device two has not yet updated because it is in developer mode, which is signified by the flask. In developer mode, flows will not be affected because you are working on the device and you don't want it to be affected. Here in this view, you can see it has a target snapshot of V6, but an active snapshot of V5. When I remove it from developer mode, it will be updated. 
And here we go. Now we can see both devices are running the latest snapshot. Let's check that. Let's have a look at device two again. Enter the developer mode, enable the tunnel, view the device. Now we have the same set of flows running. Let's take a closer look at what the device flows are doing. This function uses an NPM module called system information to gather CPU and memory and operating system information from the device. It's written to the payload and returned in a message. That message is then transmitted over what's called the project node to a topic of device status. On the FlowFuse platform, we have a second instance named Dashboard Demo. This instance is listening to the messages published from the devices. Here are its flows. Here you can see where the project node receives device status. Let's have a look at the messages coming from the device. This is the information we set up in the flows of the second device. Currently, we only have flows set up on the dashboard demo for one device. Let's have a quick look at what that looks like. Let's duplicate the flows to make the second device display on our dashboard. We'll need the, the device ID, which I can get from here, or I can get from FlowFuse. Let's get from FlowFuse. There's our device, there's our ID. Let's put that in here. Next, we want to choose whereabouts this is displayed. Now we deploy. Let's have a look what that's done. When we receive data from a device, we push it into this function. This function does a number of things, but essentially all it does is store it in the context, in flow context. Here, if I expand these, first I'll refresh. So we have the instance, device one and device two. This is the information that's pulled from the device and sent across the project link, the device status nodes. It includes other information that we added in the device flows. Next, we have inject nodes set to run every three seconds that pick up some things from the current load of the CPU the used percentage of memory. We pass these through a filter node, which essentially blocks unless the value has changed. Pointless plotting on a chart if there is no value change. And next, we send those to two charts. The first one is CPU usage. We want to display the last 10 minutes or the last 1,000 points. And the second chart is memory usage. Again, 10 minutes or the last 1,000 points. Let's take another look at that.
for the top part of the display with the name and the CPU load and memory free, I'm using a template node and I'm using Beautify components and standard view and HTML. The V card contains everything. Some divs in between. And here with the mustache syntax, we are accessing values from message.payload. We get name, current load, current load percentage, memory, and heartbeat information. So that wraps up this small demonstration. But before I go, I would like to clarify where this scenario really shines. Devices bound to an instance are a super smart way of managing fleets of same functioning devices. Think of the flows being deployed as a firmware that is downloaded to tens or hundreds or thousands of devices. And I think you can begin to see the power of this. Additionally, I hope I demonstrated how easy it is to create a dashboard that displays real information and status from your devices. Thanks for listening. See you next time.